All right, so today's gonna be a little bit different because obviously I'm in the gym and most people don't have access to a gym, but I wanna give you a little preview of what the course is gonna be like. So run through workout and we're still, since everybody's limited, we're gonna do dumbbell workout only, use lightweight, hit some shoulders, so let's get after it. All right, we're gonna start with side laterals, but the way we're gonna do these is partial reps and we're gonna go nice and slow and we're gonna go thumbs up the entire time because not only do we wanna engage that lateral head, but we're gonna to start to warm up that posterior delt as well. So we're gonna go slightly below parallel, slightly above, but the key with this is I want you to focus on actually going back at an angle a little bit too. So you're pinching those shoulder blades together, squeezing back and up, nice controlled movement. All right, so the way I structure today is we're gonna do two exercises for that lateral head, two for posterior delts, and then one for that anterior delts, just kind of finish it all off. But next up, we're gonna do a leaning side lateral. Now the key with this, obviously if you don't have a bench like this at home, doesn't matter. Just lean against the wall, walk those feet out a little bit. You're just trying to create a little bit of an angle with your body just to put more pressure on where that delt actually inserts and more in the insertion point than higher up in the actual delt. And with these, I want you to focus on a nice slow contraction, but not going directly out to the side because usually what happens there's that anterior delt jumps in a little bit or you have more of a tendency to let it drift forward. So really actually actively drive it back at an angle a little bit. Even if you get some of that posterior delt involved, that's better than having that anterior delt jump in and take over the entire movement. All right, next up we're doing rotations with a slight lean forward and we're gonna superset those with rear delt flies, but we're gonna stay towards the top of the movement doing partials and a nice slow controlled rep. The key with the rotations is obviously a slight lean forward, but really exaggerating the rotation of the shoulder itself. So as you come in, touch those dumbbells together, that's gonna really exaggerate the shoulders rounding. And then as you come back, make sure you feel like those elbows are glued to your body. If they drift too wide, you're gonna pull in your traps, you're gonna get everything else involved. But if you can keep those elbows tucked in the entire time, you're gonna feel it jump all the way around. It's gonna run through your entire delt and finish the contraction off in those rear delts. All right, so the key with those rear delt partials is testing because a lot of times you'll do that neutral grip and it'll feel great. Sometimes you come in, you have no connection whatsoever. So for me today, it was palms down and it was coming back in an arcing motion. So the key with this, test and see what feels best. Another big thing on these is I'd rather you err on the side of a smaller partial rep than getting any sort of motion and movement involved whatsoever because a lot of times I see people do these and yeah, they have a ton of weight on them, but they're throwing up the motion, they're getting their traps involved. So I'd rather you stay more towards the top the entire time, very small range of motion, but a better connection to that rear delt. All right, so we're finished up by hitting those anterior delts, but we're gonna get that entire shoulder involved because we're gonna do Arnold presses, but with these, we're gonna do them really slow, systematically, mechanically, because we're not gonna do that traditional way of bringing up in front of you and, and throwing up the weight. We're gonna go 90 degrees, slow rotation, and keep that on the same plane the entire time. And with these, I want you to be really conscious about how much that wrist controls the rotation of your shoulder. So, start of the movement, you're gonna be staring at your wrist, palm facing you, and as you rotate, I want you to exaggerate even more. So instead of that palm just facing forward, try to turn it out even just a little bit more. That's gonna get that delt involved and really contract the entire delt, not just your anterior delts as you're pressing. And for these, I'd rather you fail, not getting that press, not throwing that press up, but really making sure that you control that movement around and keep it a 90 degree angle the entire time. That's more important to me than the actual press itself. All right, so I'm gonna put sets and reps in the description. Also, I'm gonna put a link so you can put your email in there so when the course is ready, quarantine gets lifted, we'll start kicking ass. So as always, like, subscribe with the notification bell, leave a comment on the video I'm gonna do next, and get after it, get growing. I'll talk to you soon.